<laughs> Welcome to part two of, uh, of a uh, unplanned video. Uh, so um, as you can probably see from the intro there uh, with the cobbled streets and uh, the bars, um, I decided to come up to, um, up to Dublin on the train. So it's only 45 minutes on the train. So I literally got up here to uh, have a look around uh, just for a couple of hours, uh, just to sort of see what uh, Dublin looks like. Uh, I'm going to turn the camera around so you can sort of have a look around. I'm actually going to go up this way because I used to drink in a pub up here. Um, that's a great little shop there. It does loads of CDs and stuff. Um, there's a pub down here on the corner on the left hand side, which is I used to go uh, when I lived up here. So I'll just show you some of the sites really. I'm not going to film all the time because uh, I don't think people would appreciate me filming them. So I'll try and keep the camera uh, pointed towards the front as much as I can do. Loads of bars down there. Just to my right there, that's all the what they call the temple bar area. A lot of work going on here by the looks of it. Um, a few places um, I talked about maybe before but the Foggy Dew is I uh, can't believe it's all closed up but this is a fantastic pub or was now, I don't know if that's closed due to the restrictions at the moment I'm sure it is but it's an absolutely fabulous place to go there's the mercantile across the road there so this is um, the, one of the main streets in Dublin now we're on. Uh, I'll try and sort of show you up and down the road. Down there on the left hand side is the, um, is the big uh, university. Fabulous city to come into. There's, um, there's a couple of places actually. I'm heading up to Grafton Street, which is um, a lot of people write about it, set, put it into songs. I'm um, just going to go in there now. Um, there's a few um, there's a few bars along the way, so I'm sure my two-hour trip to Dublin won't go by without a, a visit to one of these establishments for a quick, swift half or two. <laughs> anyway, I'll. Um, I'll uh, turn the camera around now. Should, up here should be Molly Malone. They moved there a while ago. Um, but anyway, I'll turn the camera around so you can probably see. It's been a good while since I've been up to Dublin. There she is down there in front of me. Actually, come to think of it, the last time I was at this statue, I was with Magella and uh, I lost my coat. Um, we'd been on a night, a night out and we were taking pictures and I think I took my coat off and I must have left it there. But anyway, I'll turn around so you can sort of see it. Fabulous church, this is well done. So that's uh, Molly Malone. Anyway, we're going to go into the heart of uh, Dublin now. So just down here um, would be Grafton Street. So there's loads of bars down here. So again, I'll just turn the camera around and you can sort of see. Again, 
you're seeing this the same for the first time and so am I because I've not been up to Dublin since uh, Covid ripped pretty much restrictions went in um, if the uh, if the camera sort of suddenly goes off it's because I'm going to stop filming but I'll try and film as much as I possibly can One of the great things about Grafton Street is the first thing you uh, you hear is the music. So there'll be buskers out there, and there's some fabulous, I mean fabulous, fabulous musicians here in Dublin. Um, one thing I really, really miss is the music, especially the street entertainment. Some of these guys are absolutely outstanding and fun. So anyway, I'll turn around. You can see see a few buskers just down here now. This is the uh, famous Grafton Street. So many songs I've said have been written about it. Um, you probably can't hear me over the music at the back there, but they actually sound pretty good, the two lads. Um, I'm going to log off now. I just wanted to show you a little bit of Dublin while I was up here. And uh, I'm going to head off and get a pint somewhere. Um, if I can brave it, I'll keep on filming because it's a fantastic bar up here, which has got um, a legendary statue outside it. Um, so obviously, one of the most famous bass guitarists in the world. Um, and if I can sort of get there without the, the, uh, with the camera dying or run out of film, um, I'll let you watch this guy as well. <laughs> so, another Oscar. Um, yeah, as I was saying, so one of the most famous bass guitarists, uh, played for obviously Thin Lizzy, um, born and raised in Ireland, one of Ireland's uh, most famous prodigal sons. Um, the statue was, it's, it's, been, it's been destroyed a couple of times, I think three times. Um, and I think the last time it was, a, it was an accident and uh, obviously cost a lot of money to get the statue redone but um, Phil Linnett is who we're talking about obviously if you hadn't got that already uh, but the the statue has been um, been repaired on a, a couple of occasions um, and I've been very fortunate to come to both unveilings when they've had it and it was before um, his mother God rest her now who passed away a couple of years ago uh, Philomena absolutely lovely lady um, she oh, she was just so good to the fans um, she just um, I had many a conversation with her up here at uh, some of the unveilings. Had a couple of drinks with her and a couple of the people from, from the band back in the day. So I heard some wonderful stories. Um, and it's just around this corner here, so I'm going to turn the camera around and hopefully see Phil. Right, so um, this is uh, Brooks Hills. So this is where I'm going to go for a, a quick pint. So I'll catch you on the other side. All right, cheers. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of a uh, little bit of uh, Dublin. <laughs>